This is a spiral dynamics talk about the color purple. Good morrow. This is a talk about spiral dynamics and purple. This is Wake Up, a channel about spiral dynamics and spiritual awakening. Purple and beige are two colors that have been understood little and misunderstood a lot. Often they are completely ignored with the justification that those were stages of development of human society that are thousands and thousands of years in the past and don't play a role anymore. This is completely wrong. I'm sorry to say so. Yes, beige is about survival, but what would an individual be without his or her survival instinct? Self-preservation. Dead. He or she would be dead in no time. The same with purple. Without the feeling of wanting to create a family or a clan, any kind of society really, we would be nowhere. Human beings, the whole species, would be extinct for tens of thousands of years. We would not be here anymore. The reason why beige and purple are not considered to be so important anymore is because most people who have written and talked about spell dynamics were centered in orange. To an orange-centered person, a rainforest is a piece of land that has no use. You have to use it for forestation or farming or building houses or mining for gold. And the same for people, indigenous people who live in rainforests or in any kind of wild land that has not been terraformed by civilization, by modern technologi technological civilization. Any indigenous people is useless for the orange mind. They do not contribute to the money production. They do not buy things. The most important thing in orange is to have people who buy the stuff that you are selling, that you are producing. Indigenous people who live self-sufficient in the rainforest or in the desert or in the Arctis or whatever, there are danger to the banking system and to the modern system of producing things that no one really needs but everyone wants to buy. So they are being ridiculed as primitive. This is called colonialism or even racism. This has nothing to do with spiral dynamics and nothing to do with the original concept of Claire Graves which was called levels of existence. To view indigenous people or any kind of society that is not hungering for more money and more possessions and more Porsches and bigger houses and faster machines as underdeveloped or even not developed, stupid even, is colonialism and racism. It has nothing to do with consciousness. There's a nice book about this called Ishmael by Daniel Quinn, which is written from a green, yellow, turquoise perspective. Only because a society is not working the way our society and the first world, western world works, doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that it's worse. It doesn't mean that it's better either. It's just different. Blue and orange centered people have a hatred for everything that is not technological, mechanical, logical. And everything that is hated is usually ridiculed. This is also why women in most countries earn less for the same job than men. Why is that so? The main reason is that women can get pregnant and then they cannot do their job anymore for some time. So they are counted as unreliable workers. 
Red, blue and orange centered men cannot understand that without mothers there would be no children, including themselves. They just see productivity. There's a worker who does his job, ideally an low self-esteem overachiever who works him or herself to death for the company so that maximum profit can be achieved. This is not how purple thinks and this is why it's often ridiculed. Anyone who has a family or wants to have a family is partly centered in purple. But it doesn't mean that he or she is mainly centered in purple. It's Spiral dynamics is actually not a spiral, it's an onion system. Every level is possible because of the previous levels. And there still exists. You're not leaving a level, you're not leaving a color to experience a new color. It's a completion. One color after the other gets added. So to have a family is a purple thing. But you don't have to be centered in purple if you are a mother or a father. Any kind of society or association, even a company, has a purple aspect. Otherwise there would be no working together. Team working is purple. Purple is the realization that things are easier if you work together than if you're working alone as a maverick. Try to survive anywhere by yourself. It's more difficult than in any kind of association with others. Let us have a look at the book Purple, at Don Beck's and Christopher Cohen's book, which has a very, very strong orange influence. Purple, life conditions. Firstly, obey desires of the mystical spirit beings. This wording is colonialistic. It is written by someone who has never for a single second studied something like cultural anthropology. Yes, in many indigenous societies, there's a belief in mystical spirit beings who are invisible. But that doesn't mean that you have to obey their desires, nor does it mean that they do not exist. Who are we to say, only because we can operate computers and machines and cell phones and so on, that magic and mystical spirit beings like plant devas and stuff do not exist. This is the orange thinking. Everything we cannot see and touch and smell does not exist. It's just superstition. The next point, show allegiance to elders, custom and clan. This is completely true. But this is true in most companies as well. Yeah? You have elders and you have to show allegiance and deference to them. There are some new startup companies now with a flat hierarchy, but usually the hierarchy in any company nowadays is steep. And this is a purple influence that we can see in all colors. All colors except beige have a purple influence, have a purple aspect. Next point, preserve sacred places, objects and rituals. That is also true. But that is true for everything that human beings do. Ritual, or also called routine, is part of our day-to-day -day life without which most people would go crazy. And your home, for example, your home is your castle, is also a sacred place. And sacred objects, for whom is a cell phone not a sacred object? There's no difference if the sacred object is a stone or a stick or a cell phone, or a computer, or a sports car, like a Porsche. The next point, bond together to endure and find safety. Yeah, but that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the basic human society. Without that, no survival would be possible. We are not tigers. Then, next point, live in an enchanted magical village. What nonsense. Yes, for a purple-centered mind, the whole world is magical. 
But that doesn't mean that the village is more magical. Everything is magical. And we see this again in turquoise, which is the second tier version of purple, where everything becomes magical again. You lose the magic with red, and then you start to try to find it again with green, yellow, and then in turquoise you find it again. But the blue and orange mind, of course, they think that magic is nonsense. Or in blue even, that magic is the devil's work. But there is magic in the world. The whole world is nothing else but magic. The whole world is Maya, which is an illusion created by some kind of divine thingy. And we mistake it for reality. But actually it's all Maya. It's all just tricks. Which is a realization that you have in turquoise and have had already in purple, but you forgot about it or you were taught that is nonsense. The next point, seek harmony with nature's power. Yes, this is for example that something, this is something that comes back in green. To save nature because nature nurtures you. It's the big mother, the Magna Mater or Gaia. Mother Nature. Without Mother Nature, we would have nothing to eat. We would be cannibals. So everything that makes us human beings, social human beings, human beings who work together in groups without killing each other, is purple. Without purple, we would be nothing. So it's not primitive in any way. But it's basic. It's at the basis, it's the foundation of human society. This is not something that has happened tens of thousands of years ago. It's still happening. I mean, it has happened tens of thousands of years ago, but it's still going on. It's not a stage of development that we can ever abandon because it's too primitive. If we ever, as a human species, would move away from purple, would exclude purple, we would kill each other. All this talk that purple, for example, is pre-literate is complete nonsense. A few lines later, they mention mythology, any kind of mythology, fairy tales, epics, legends, sagas, as a collective memory aspect of purple. Those have been written down. So it's not about being pre-literate. There is even a comparison with the Heil Hitler thing in the Second World War of the Nazis. This is not purple. Yeah? This is red in its extreme. And things like feudalism and dogma, this is blue. Anything religious really in any laws are blue. The leader of a purple society is only a leader because of his or her qualities. He or she is not a king or queen by birthright. This is something that has developed in red and later. You lead by example, not by force. What is purple though is kinship. So you always prefer blood-related relatives to non-blood-related relatives. And this will go on until yellow and turquoise. Then it will change. Even friendship is purple. Yeah, One for all and all for one. So don't forget, purple is being social. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. See you soon. Thank you for subscribing and hit the bell button.